kingdom of forgotten toys. Once upon a time, in a cozy little town nestled between rolling green hills and a sparkling blue lake, there lived a boy named Max. Max was an imaginative and kind-hearted child with a mop of curly brown hair and eyes that twinkled like stars whenever he smiled. He lived in a quaint house on Maple Street with his parents and his loyal dog, Buddy. Max loved exploring. Every afternoon after school, he and Buddy would embark on adventures in their backyard, which stretched out into a vast meadow filled with wildflowers and whispering trees. One sunny day, as they played fetch near an old oak tree, Buddy chased the ball into a cluster of overgrown bushes. Buddy, where did you go? Max called out, pushing aside branches as he searched for his furry friend. Suddenly, his hand brushed against something hard and wooden. Curiosity peaked. Max cleared away the leaves to reveal a small, weathered door set into the trunk of the oak tree. That's strange, Max murmured. The door had intricate carvings of stars, moons, and tiny creatures. Without hesitation, he turned the brass knob and pulled the door open. A soft glow emanated from within, and before Max knew it, Buddy dashed inside. Wait up, Buddy, Max exclaimed, stepping through the doorway. Instantly, he felt a tingling sensation, as if he were being wrapped in a warm blanket. The world around him swirled with colors, and when everything settled, Max found himself in a place unlike any he'd ever seen. He stood in a bustling town square, surrounded by tall buildings made of toy blocks, with rooftops of playing cards and windows of stained glass marbles. The sky above was a patchwork quilt of vibrant fabrics, and the air was filled with the soft melodies of music boxes. All around, toys of every kind walked, talked, and went about their day. Stuffed animals chatted cheerfully. Wooden soldiers marched in rhythm, and dolls twirled in elegant dresses. Welcome to the kingdom of forgotten toys, a cheerful voice piped up. Max turned to see a small, plush rabbit wearing a tiny waistcoat and spectacles perched on his button nose. I'm Mr. Whiskers, the rabbit said, extending a paw. And you must be Max. We've been expecting you. Expecting me? How do you know my name? Max asked, shaking the soft paw. News travels fast in our kingdom, Mr. Whiskers winked. Come along, the Toy Council is eager to meet you. Buddy trotted happily beside them as they made their way through the enchanting streets. Max marveled at the sights. A carousel with painted horses that neighed happily, kites flying themselves in graceful loops, and a train made of tin chugging along tracks that wound around candy cane lampposts. They arrived at a grand building made entirely of giant storybooks stacked high, their spines forming columns. Inside, the toy council awaited. Seated around a table were an assortment of distinguished toys, a regal teddy bear with a crown, a mechanical robot with gleaming gears, a porcelain doll with a parasol, and a yo-yo that hovered in the air. Welcome, Max, the teddy bear king spoke kindly. We are delighted you have found your way here. But why am I here? Max asked, still bewildered but excited. The porcelain doll stepped forward. Our kingdom is fading, she explained her voice delicate as a chime. Children are forgetting about us. As they grow older, they leave us behind, and their 
our memories of the joy we shared begin to fade. The robot whirred sympathetically. Without those memories, our magic dims. The threads that connect our world to yours are unraveling. Mr. Whiskers adjusted his spectacles. We need your help to remind the world of the happiness and imagination that toys bring. Will you help us, Max? Max felt a surge of determination. Of course, I'll help. But what can I do? The teddy bear king smiled warmly. By sharing our stories and rekindling the joy of play, you can help restore the connection between our worlds. Just then, a sudden tremor shook the building. The colorful lights flickered, and a hush fell over the kingdom. The forgetting is spreading, the yo-yo said gravely. We must act quickly. Max nodded resolutely. Tell me what to do. The council explained that to restore the fading memories, Max needed to gather the lost stories of the toys and share them in his world. They handed him a special notebook bound with shimmering threads and a quill pen that glowed softly. This memory journal will capture the stories, the porcelain doll said. But you must journey through the kingdom to collect them. And so, Max set off with Buddy and Mr. Whiskers by his side. They traveled through the enchanted forest of stuffed animals, where plush creatures lounged in treehouses made of pillows and leaves as soft as velvet. They visited the clockwork canyons, where wind-up toys kept time with the ticking of their gears, and the sea of imagination, where paper boats sailed on waves of liquid color. At each place, Max listened to the toys' tales, the adventures they had with children, the dreams they inspired, and the lessons they helped teach. He wrote diligently in the memory journal, the pages filling with vibrant stories and illustrations that seemed to move on their own. One evening, as they camped under a sky glittering with constellations shaped like kites, and spinning tops, Max confessed to Mr. Whiskers. I hope this works. I want everyone to remember how wonderful you all are. Mr. Whiskers patted Max's hand reassuringly. Your belief in us is the strongest magic there is. Finally, with the journal brimming with stories, they returned to the toy council. The kingdom's lights were dimmer, and the air was heavy with quiet sadness. The forgetting has grown stronger, the teddy bear king said wearily. We must hurry. Max stood at the center of the grand hall and opened the memory journal. As he began to read aloud, his voice echoed with warmth and excitement. He told of daring rescues, tea parties under the stars, and the comfort of a teddy bear's hug on a stormy night. With each story, a soft glow emanated from the journal, spreading throughout the hall. The toys listened with rapt attention, their eyes shining brighter. The glow flowed out of the building, weaving through the streets and rising into the sky. The quilted sky began to shimmer with renewed colors, and the melodies of the music boxes grew louder and more joyful. But the final and most important step remained, sharing the stories with his own world. How will I share these stories back home? Max asked. The robot stepped forward, extending a metal hand to reveal a small, sparkling key. This key will allow you to open a portal anywhere in your world. Use it wisely. With heartfelt goodbyes and promises to return, 
Max and Buddy made their way back to the door in the oak tree. As they stepped through, Max found himself once again in his backyard, the sun just beginning to rise. Determined, Max set to work. He wrote the stories anew, drawing pictures to accompany them. He shared them with his friends at school, telling them about the magical kingdom and the incredible toys he met. His friends were captivated, their eyes wide with wonder. Word spread quickly, and soon the whole town was buzzing with excitement about Max's tales. The local newspaper featured his stories, and a community event was organized where children and adults alike brought out their old toys to share and play. Laughter and joy filled the air as people rediscovered the simple happiness that toys could bring. The connection between the worlds grew stronger, and in the kingdom of forgotten toys, the lights shone brighter than ever before. The sky was a dazzling tapestry of colors, and the melodies of music boxes were carried on the wind. One night, as Max drifted off to sleep, he heard a familiar whisper. Opening his eyes, he saw Mr. Whiskers perched on his windowsill. Thank you, Max, the rabbit said softly. You saved our kingdom. Max smiled sleepily. I couldn't have done it without all of you. Mr. Whiskers grinned. Remember, the magic of imagination is always with you. Keep sharing it. And with a twinkle of his spectacles, he vanished into the night. From that day on, Max continued to write stories, his adventures inspiring others to embrace their imagination and cherish the joy that toys and play bring to the world. The kingdom of forgotten toys was forgotten no more, living on in the hearts and minds of all who believed in the magic of imagination. <laughs>